Hey guys, welcome back to Bombi TV. Guys, we're going to check in out Germany forcing women to go topless in pool. Guys, first, when I checked this video, I saw it on a friend's status. He was like, Germany women are now allowed to go topless on pool. Guess who is going to Germany? But I won't say, I, I, I never saw they were forcing women. But guys, let's check this out. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. What is gender equality in terms of the westernized world? Gender equality is about equal rights, opportunities and treatment for individuals of different genders regardless of their biological sex. This equality can surely be achieved in some areas like education, giving equal respect, giving equal pay for the same work, etc. In some areas, this notion of equality can never be achieved. Man cannot possibly be as compassionate and caring as a woman, and a woman will not be able to take extreme jobs like oil rig workers, deep pothole cleaners, etc. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not fashioned us in this manner. That is why the idea of gender equality is vague. Still, we see efforts that are put forward to make this vague idea a reality. Now, a swimming pool in Berlin announced that women are legally permitted to swim topless. The announcement came after Lottie Myers, 33, filed a discrimination complaint in December against a pool in German capital. She said the pool barred her from entry because she was topless. The city allowing topless swimming, regardless of gender, is meant to create equal rights for all Berliners, whether male, female or non-binary, said Doris Liebscher, head of the city's ombudsman's office, for equal treatment against discrimination in a press release. The clarification by the city's government is a nod to Germany's free body culture which promotes the health benefits of nudity while exercising or being in nature per CNN. Astaghfirullah. This is the true aim of the so-called modern society to make humans no better than animals. The modernized world comes up with terms like gender equality, live while you are young, live free, free body culture. These terms are just to attract and corrupt minds towards haram. The more one may think and reason, the more he will understand that it is only Islam that protects us from falling in these traps. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Remain in your homes and do not display your beauty as it is used to be displayed in the days of earlier ignorance, and establish salah and pay zakah and obey Allah and His Messenger. Allah only intends to keep all sorts of filth away from you, O members of the family of the Prophet, and to make you pure through a perfect purification. Allah mentions in this verse that Allah only commands the believing women to cover and hide them as Allah wants us to protect us from filth. But what we are witnessing nowadays that women are protesting against hijab under the banner of liberalism and feminism. Open your eyes dear sisters, this is what the shaitan aims. Shaitan is corrupting your mind so you may disgrace yourself and look nothing more than an animal. He wants you to remove your clothes and serve as a means of temptation which leads to haram relations. This not only leads to breaking up of families but also corrupts the society as a whole. Save your haya. Don't let the society norms pressure you to sell it at any cost. Haya carries the meanings of shame, modesty, bashfulness and all related feelings that deter a person from behaving indecently. The westernized world wants to steal all this from you. Don't make this deal with them. This deal is only a deal with shaitan. The Prophet Muhammad said, Faith, belief consists of more than 60 branches, i.e. parts, and haya is a part of faith. In another hadith, how absence of haya and torment is related is described. The Messenger of Allah said, Al haya is from faith and faith is in paradise. Obscenity is from torture and torture is in the fire. Save yourself from this fire dear sisters. Save yourself being exploited. Feminism is just shaitan corrupting your minds. Don't fall for this trap. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide our Muslim sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from the traps of shaitan. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button. Guys, this 
is amazing. Yes, I love it, but let's understand something. I wouldn't say feminism is from this from Satan actually. Because if you understand the real meaning of feminism, I feel you like it's there for you to give women equal rights. I understand that to some extent it won't be but like I feel so like this 21st century I feel women have been uplifted because based on some women actually have sense like I'll be honest some women have sense some don't like that that is a big fact but like I grew up with my mom taking care of us and I feel if the world didn't give her fair treatment the way they give to a man she won't be able to like take care of us like I have seven siblings so it wasn't easy like just her taking care of seven of us so I feel if you if you understand if you understand it from my own background like women giving fair rights in job like those kind of things it actually helped them to like help the family but it actually spoils the home in a way because when you when you have this kind of feminism and the man isn't doing as well the woman wants to like control the home and the man having ego won't allow it and gonna break it i understand his point he's right feminism is useless but like to some extent like you're supposed to give women equal rights to some est- like to some extent like you're supposed to have based on the fact the pay gap i don't think there's a pay gap though but like she's supposed to be able to call it the same money a man is collecting if they're doing equal job and i feel women going topless is actually is not right because it's gonna cause haram like to be honest it's gonna cause haram and people actually voting for like hijab as i feel islam as a beautiful religion i don't really care what anyone wanna say but i personally think islamic religion is beautiful why because they are able to communicate with god f- at least four times or five times a day and i'm not going to compare islam with christianity i'm just telling what i think about islam and you communicating with god is actually beautiful thing. like i can tell you it's like you remembering you know there's i read a lot of books so there's this book i read they say if you are writing your goals every day like if you're reading your goal every day it will come to pass like it will come to pass like you are moving gradually to your goal and i feel you praying five times a day you are moving gradually to heaven because you are actually focusing on god every single day and that is beautiful like for people out there that are not christians that are not muslims that i won't say you are atheist but you believe in god but you don't believe in religion like I feel you should pray to God like every day. Like you should be focused on God. It's a beautiful thing, guys. And I can tell you it is before. I enjoyed this video. Tell me what you think about the video in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.